what you get up to today. Saw so Molly for a while. I ate. Spent most of my time down the forge. You should see the knife I worked on. Look at the hand line. You were supposed to go into town to find work today, Tommy. If the war's over, there won't be any troops anymore. You gotta find another job. Yeah, I will. I mean, she, she sound like Dad. But one of us has to. I'm fine, Jack. I have money. What money? It doesn't matter. Lighten up, boy. Oh, come on, man. You're killing me. Good evening, Mr. Newman. What the hell are you Jump doing? Jump that hole in your face, boy. If you want to get out of this with your life. Yankee scum. Tear it down. Now, Mr. Newman. You know what I'm here for. Yes. And? Where is it? If you give me a few more days, I can get it to you. I swear. You're already two weeks late, Tommy. I need my money. And I need it now. I swear, Mr. Daniels, if you just give me a few more days... You know my policy on an unpaid debt is, don't you? I believe I made myself very clear. No, we made our little arrangement. No, no, please, Mr. Daniels, please. Just a few more days. You gotta believe me. I've heard enough. Wipe yourself off. Sorry about the mess. Jack, is it? Go to hell! Jack changed the spades. <laughs> Sheriff! Sheriff! Jack! Jack Newman, what the hell happened to you? Daniel's gang, alright. They're, uh, they're a confederate gang. They used to be uh, particularly fond of smuggling slaves and stuff like that across the border, but since since the end of the war, oh, they've taken a theft and robberies, and in particular, well, in your brother's case, anyway, they started lending him money, and oh, it's a pity. Tommy was a real good boy. So, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> well, I, I, I don't really know how to put this boy, but we've been, we've been trying to catch these scumbags for years, probably well over a decade, and every time we try to kill, my man will end up getting killed. To be honest, I've given up hope of actually ever catching him. So we're gonna do nothing? I'll do it myself if I have to. I'll bring those rats to justice. That gang are killing at least 30 of my men. You're not gonna be able to kill you say will change my mind. I want justice for my brother and I'll get it. I'll do your own stinking job for you. Akia, okay, uh, uh, last I heard they were heading west towards Mississippi. If you head out down towards Elmwood, I say that's your best shot. Tommy was all that I had left. My mother died giving birth to me. My pop died in the war. That rat Daniels took his life. I see it only fair that I take his. He'll pay. I will get my revenge. I will kill Robin Daniels. <laughs>
I couldn't believe it. I'm no killer, I told myself. It seemed that nothing could take away the feeling. The, the guilt, the shame. No matter how much whiskey I drank, I couldn't get rid of it. I had to come to face the reality that I was no better than the man that had killed my own brother. That was until one night. I stumbled upon a church. I had found freedom from the guilt that had absorbed me through religion. Over the next couple of months, I became sober again, and spent most of my days studying the scripture I had found there. Eventually, I became a preacher, ready to lead others to the freedom I had found there. You shall not take vengeance or bear a grudge against the sons of your own people, but you shall love your neighbor as yourself. This is the word of the Lord. And I'd like to invite you all to come and partake in communion. Jack needs it to heart.